Now what I've done is I've gone back and modified the actual shape of the horseshoe. Kind of made it a little bit thicker around the outside edge here. Now I'm going to do a control minus to zoom out. And what I want to do now is go down here to my symbol menu and place another one of those Texas stars graphics out there. Now once I've got it placed, I want to use the, the star shape itself as part of my new logo that I'm designing here. So I'll right mouse click here and I'll say break link to symbol. Once I've done that, I will use my uh, black selection arrow and click out here to the left of that. And then I will click on the uh, information you see here, right mouse click and ungroup. Once I've got it ungrouped, then I'll do a, a polygon around there like this and I will delete the graphics that I don't need. In this case, I'm getting rid of the text, I'm getting rid of the texts, but I do want that star. So I'll get rid of the background as you see here. Now I'm going to take the uh, graphic you have here and right mouse click and I'm going to do uh, an ungroup of that because it's a nested group. Then I'll click on each one of these shadows as you see here, holding my shift key down and get them all selected. And then I'll come down here and do a swap outline because I want to have this outline look here. Now this all should still be graphics. Well it's not. Let's do a control Z, zoom back over here and put our mouse around that and group that object. So we have it now grouped. Now I can take and move it over the star. We'll come back to this here in a moment.